At six to campaign 2022, can a third party candidate become Connecticut's next governor? Yeah, there will be a third line on our November ballot. It may be an uphill battle, but some feel the current political climate could work in their favor. We have the expert right here. Chief political reporter Susan Raff is joining us right now from the state capitol in Hartford. She has more on what all this is about. Hi there, Susan. Hi there, Mark. If you remember in the last gubernatorial election, Oz Griebel ran as an unaffiliated candidate, and there were some who really liked his message. But it's almost impossible to be a third party candidate and win an election. Well, this time around, they're hoping that people will be so unhappy with party politics the way they are now, people will really want to change. We now have the third line on the gubernatorial ballot in November. Monty Frank says it's all because of Oz Griebel, who ran as an unaffiliated candidate for governor in the last election. Frank was on the ticket for lieutenant governor. And part of the legacy that he left us is this movement that Griebel Frank for Connecticut continues. Griebel passed away in 2020 in a tragic accident. This year, Griebel Frank for Connecticut is part of SAM, the Serve America movement which is an active party in a handful of states. We are going to make some really big changes here, and our candidates have to be good people, um, but they have to embrace the electoral reforms. They have to get behind ranked choice voting, open primaries, term limits, and voter access. And right now they're looking for candidates. Dan Rosenthal is serving his third term as Newtown's first selectman. He ran as a Democrat twice, but in the last election, he was endorsed by Sam and won. All of us could say things need to change. I think we always kind of perhaps expect other people to change it. So I wanted to step forward and be at least part of that change. But Connecticut, like most states, is pretty much a two-party system. The last governor to buck the system was Lowell Weicker, also a third-party candidate. This year, Democrat Ned Lamont is seeking re-election. And Republican Bob Stefanowski announced last week he's ready to take another shot. SAM supporters, however, say they have a strong message and people are ready for change. Uh, it's a time for a new path for the state, for our nation, and, and for the world. SAM supporters may feel like they have a strong message, but they do have quite a few challenges. First and foremost, they need to have candidates. They're also trying to get the Secretary of the State to change the party name to SAM. And then they have to convince voters. We are live tonight at the State Capitol in Hartford. Susan Raff, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.